chocolate. W what would I, a bachelor, be doing with diapers? That's what I was wondering. Uh, those are not diapers. Uh, they're, uh, they're... Uh, uh, they're what? Dust cloths. Uh, I need something soft to dust my beautiful china. I thought maybe you had a baby. Uh, Errol, they are dust cloths. I don't know anything about any baby. Now, run along. Well, if you don't have a baby, what are all those cans of baby food for? Uh, I have a kitty cat. I buy baby food for it. Strained carrots? Uh, it's a vegetarian kitty cat. Oh. Vegetarian now. Run along. Hi, Charlie. Hello, Mesa. Come on, sport. We better be going. They don't have the kind of sweater your dad wants. We've got to go to the department store. Oh, wait a minute. I missed one. Missed what? A can of strained spinach for Charlie's cat. Oh. I'll be right back. Again? Here, Charlie. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, they only had mohair sweaters. You know, the kind that gets in your dad's nose and makes him sneeze? Strain spinach for a cat? Charlie says it's a vegetarian. Oh, well, don't get my mind off on a million other things when I ought to be concentrating on getting a sweater. A vegetarian cat? At first, I thought he had a baby when the truck delivered all those diapers. Diapers? A truck delivering diapers to Charlie? Mm-hmm. He uses them for dust cloths. Oh. Oh. Diapers for dust cloths? Mm-hmm. Vegetarian cat? Yeah? You wait for me here in the park. I, I forgot something. Nonsense. I never heard of such nonsense. Well, I must say it didn't make much sense to me. Strange spinach for a vegetarian cat. <laughs> it's a little boy imagination, that's all. One moment he stands outside there in front of my suit of armor, imagining is a knight of the round table, and the next moment he imagine my my dust cloths are diapers. Hazel, I ask you, what would I, a bachelor, be doing with the baby? Oh, well, I must say you're very convincing. Of course I'm convincing. The truth is always convincing. Except for one thing. What? Ain't you a little old to be using a pacifier? This is the most beautiful baby I saw in my whole life. Come here, honey. Non toccare il mio bambino. Oh, I hope nobody's in any kind of trouble. Oh, George, thank goodness you're here. Talk about trouble. My head is about to split. Now listen, Harry, if you have some kind of client trouble, don't try to hand it to me. I only came in the office to pick up this petition. George, she is in my office. She? The Dowager? Mrs. Hampton? Please, George, don't say her name out loud. It takes the starch right out of my collar. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harry, she's your client. She's your responsibility. However, as long as I'm in the office, and considering that we are friends as well as law partners, I'll uh, pitch in and help you. Oh, thank you, George. Don't mention it. Here you are. Just take two of these aspirin tablets every half hour. Aspirin? George, what I need is a new set of ribs. She's got that cane of hers with her. And every time she makes a point, she pokes me in the ribs with it. Mr. Noel, your law firm handles my estate and gets a mighty big fee for it. <laughs> 